you don't know me, I'm Mars Rover Driver on Twitter. Thank you for making me feel like a celebrity. That was awesome. <laughs> um, uh, and um, since we had to say goodbye to Spirit this year, I thought I would um, uh, share something with you. I, I had realized that um, uh, you know I, I worked on Spirit from the very beginning of the mission, and, and I was one of those who fell in love with Spirit when it seemed like nobody else did. As soon as the opportunity landed, the science team attention like like just moved like a laser, just like shifted right over to opportunity, and, and we, we knew that Spirit was not the favorite child. Of, but those of us who worked on Spirit at the time loved her uh, um, because we had sent her to this very unforgiving place, and we, we had sent her to what turned out to be this very unforgiving place on Mars. It was this place that, from orbit, you can tell any idiot who was also a highly trained geologist, can immediately tell you <laughs> that this spot had to be an old lake bed, right? Gusev Crater had to be an old lake bed, has an outflow channel coming out of it. But Spira discovered when she actually got to Mars and she opened her eyes that lava had come along and filled up um, that lake bed, and there wasn't the evidence of water that she was looking for. And that started a story for her that was very, you know, the, the rest of her mission was very much like that, where she had to really fight and struggle and survive longer than anybody thought that she could um, and, and kind of get past uh, uh, these, these seemingly impossible obstacles um, to, 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 uh, to, 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 to find the evidence of water that she had gone to Mars for. Um, and so, you know, I and a whole bunch of other people who worked on Spirit in the early days really got caught up in this story and really loved Spirit for, for doing that and for being that rover and for being you know, the plucky little survivor who kind of, the, the little engine who could. Um, and, and so when she died, I really thought that I would feel more upset about it than I did. And it wasn't until this weekend that I realized why I'm not as upset about it as I thought I was going to be. And, and the reason for that is that I feel like Spirit went out the way that she would have wanted to go. Um, she, went, she went down fighting and that's how she would have wanted it. She went to Mars, came out swinging. Um, uh, and, and really kind of fought her way across the Martian surface and fought for every scrap of, of science that she ever got, which turns out to be better even than Opportunity has done these days. She found evidence of hot water, evidence of pH neutral water at the Spirit site. Um, and, uh, and I feel like, you know, she, she, she could have died from the equivalent of a Martian brain aneurysm. You know, a, 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 a wire comes loose connecting her to her computer, and one day we just never hear from her again. There's, there's so many different ways that she, where, you know, she could have been choked to death death by the dust, and, and she nearly was. Um, uh, she could have gone out that way, but instead she had a chance to kind of go down struggling and fighting the way that she always had, had lived her life uh, doing. Um, in addition to that, um, uh, so we're, you know, we're at the end of the Spirit mission, we're not going to hear any more from Spirit, and that's, that's the end of that. And that's a sad thing. Um, but Spirit has, has brought us so much, and in particular, uh, one thing that I really think about when I look back over the course of the mission is sitting in the ops room uh, one day on, I believe we were planning Sol 66, 65, 66, somewhere around there, and seeing this image that had come back from Spirit that was the first image that was ever taken of the Earth from the surface of another planet. And this is one of, if you, if you haven't seen this, I'll, I'll tweet it later, um, uh, it's one of, to me, it's one of the most poetic and profound images in all of the history of space flight uh, to rival the image of the Earth seen over the moon from Apollo. Um, if you haven't seen it, you really should check it out. Um, we are just this pinprick of light in a sea of, of blackness uh, all around. And there is nothing like that image to give you a sense of perspective in the universe and a notion that, um, that, 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 you know, this is our house seen from our neighbor's house. And we're just this tiny little dot of light. And there's this great, big, beautiful universe around there just waiting for us to come and explore it. Um, so that's, that's a great image, and, a, and a, uh, I'll, I'll love Spirit for a lot of things, but probably most of all for bringing us that. So thank you.